Praise the Lord and good morning everyone. Welcome to the Eucharistic celebration. We pray for Divine Retreat Center. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the Divine Retreat Center summer's week. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this your temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions and let your Holy Spirit rest upon it. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Entrance Antiphon Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear loving children of God, today being the first to Friday in the month of September, a day very specially dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, our intention of today praying for broken families, broken marriages. We ask the Lord to comfort all those who are in marriage and in families who are broken, the love that comes from the heart of Jesus. And we pray for healing in those families where there is brokenness. Brethren, let us acknowledge our failures and shortcomings. So prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love that conformed to his image, we may merit a share in eternal redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Be seated for readings. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. People must think of us as Christ's servants, stewards entrusted with the mysteries of God. What is expected of stewards is that each one should be found worthy of his trust. Not that it makes the slightest difference to me whether you or indeed any human tribunal find me worthy or not. I will not even pass judgment on myself. True, my conscience does not reproach me at all, but that does not prove that I am acquitted. The Lord alone is my judge. There must be no passing of premature judgment. Leave that until the Lord comes. He will light up all that is hidden in the dark and reveal the secret intentions of men's hearts. Then will be the time for each one to have whatever praise he deserves from God. This is the word of the Lord. Be to the, Lord. the Responsorial Psalm. 
Our response, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. If you trust in the Lord and do good, then you will live in the land and be secure. If you find <clears throat> your delight in the Lord, he will grant your heart's desire. Our response, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit your life to the Lord, trust in him and he will act so that your justice breaks forth like the light, your cause like the noonday sun. A response, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Then turn away from evil and do good and you shall have a home forever. For the Lord loves justice and will never forsake his friends. A response, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. They are stronghold in time of distress. The Lord helps them and delivers them and saves them for their refuge is in him. A response, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Pharisees and the scribes said to Jesus, John's disciples are always fasting and saying prayers. And the disciples of the Pharisees too, but yours go on eating and drinking. Jesus replied, Surely you cannot make the bridegroom's attendants fast while the bridegroom is still with them. But the time will come the time for the bridegroom be taken away from them. That will be the time when they will fast. He also told them this parable. No one tears a piece from a new cloak to put it on an old cloak. If he does, not only will he have torn the new one, but the piece taken from the new will not match the old. And anybody puts new wine into all the skins. If he does, the new wine will burst the skins and then run out. Skins will be lost. Now new wine must be put into fresh skins. And nobody who has been drinking old wine wants new. The old is good. He says, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Dear loving children of God, being the first to Friday of the month, a day dedicated to the sacred heart of Jesus, it is good that we consecrate each one of us to the heart of Jesus. And today's responsorial psalm, we heard about these three lines of word of God from the book of Psalm. Commit your way and life to the Lord, trust in Him, then He will act on you. A beautiful word, I repeat. Commit your life to the Lord, trust in Him, and then He will act. Dear loving children of God, God does His action on me and on you only when I commit my life to God. When I commit my life to God, I say indirectly, God, I completely surrender to you, act on me. A child who is ready to give his life into the hands of God, God is able to act on them mightily, in a way more than that we expect in our life. So today, Jesus speaks to us through gospel, two beautiful small parables, 
easy to understand about the new cloak and the old cloak and new wine and the old skins easily understand nobody does this because new is always new so what jesus trying to speak to us today maybe one of the spiritual meanings we can take in this way new life or new wine or new cloth that depicts or that speaks the holy spirit in our life today the newness of life the life with grace i'm sure that you agree with me when you commit a sin or when you go back to your old ways when you go back to your old sins and old lifestyles you may not be happy in your life the time you allow evil the result is disturbances and irritations of life whatever can be seen all the ways bad habits addictions these are not going to feed the flesh and the soul so today's gospel jesus gives importance to new everything new new cloak and new wine this is connected with a graceful life that we need to have today so friends and children of god concent concentrate on newness of life that is the life with holy spirit the life in grace that help us the father the son and the holy spirit Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine the work of human hands it will become a spiritual drink yes. with the humble spirit and contrite heart may we be accepted by you o lord as your sacrifice and service we present to you lord wash me lord and cleanse me from all my sins pray brother in that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father O God, Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness gave us your only begotten Son, grant we pray that being perfectly united with Him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord holy father almighty and eternal god through Christ our lord for raised up high on the cross he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side the wellspring of the church sacraments so that one over to the open heart of the savior almighty draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation 
And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without the end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy. Therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we might be always, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Have mercy on all the broken marriages and broken families. We pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her devoted spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Mary Magdalene, and all those who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, a God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
they might be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm not the living God, the will of the Father, the work of the Holy Spirit through your death. Give life to this world, free me into your most holy word. From all my sins, keep me always. Never let me be part of you. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. For all those who are not able to go to church physically today, this is your time of spiritual communion. You can join with these prayers. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us to have eternal life. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you.
let us pray. May partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Glorify God by our lives. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, in the day of the Lord. We are saved God against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust in your hell, Satan. And all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priests. O Jesus, eternal priest, keep all your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may harm them. Keep our saint their anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep answering their lips, for pollute your precious blood. Keep pure and unhappy their hearts, seal the sublime marks of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's temptation. Bless their labors with abundant fruit, and may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation, and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, Pray for us and obtain for us many holy degrees.